Okay, hi folks, well, we're doing a morning update and I thought we might as well have, I'll try not to wiggle the, the thing around too much, but um, uh, well, so you get braiding in the background while we do updating at the same time. So it's 9.30 on Sunday morning. Um, this is day, we came home from the hospital on Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days at home. And uh, we've had some great adventures. We've got the home nursing people linked up with us. So Janice, the RN comes on a, like every few days to help us with, um, you know, with the narcotic side of the meds and pain and nausea relief stuff. I'm going to get coaching lessons next week on how to fill up syringes myself and stuff. So that'll be fun. Um, the palliative care people are, are linked in. So there's lots, things are really going good. Last night, Arda developed a cough. Um, so she sat up all night with Mary bah, 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 coughing up lovely green, delicious phlegm with little black flecks in it, which Catherine, because Mary took photos and sent them to Catherine. So uh, probably some infection in her lungs and a little bit of blood coming up with it. So we have already phoned the, we've got all these, these great number contacts. So we've been already talking to the palliative um, or the hospice emergency response team people who will kind of figure out on a Sunday what kind of things that they can get in place to take care of um, figuring out what the infection is. Um, uh, and we've already made the call to the COVID testing people and we've got uh, drive through COVID tests <laughs> scheduled for 1140. I love it that it's drive through gargle test. So we just top in the car and drive over drive through no eating one hour before and we should have the results back today. So um, we're hoping um, we're hoping that everyone doesn't have COVID. But for sure, there's some infection in there. So one way or the other, we'll take that next step on that. Um, uh, Arda said she was just fine. She's because she coughed up most of the stuff through the night. She feels better now than she did during the night. So she sat in the chair here by the fireplace where she is right now, where it's warm. And um, she did tell Mary, though, that she's not going in for her COVID test with that gray fleecy sweater on. So Mary had been sent off to get some nice, uh, nice outfits. So you can see here in the background, Arda. Oh, she's got, oh, she's now she's getting some good posture there. She's wearing the red coral necklace and she's got uh, Wana's lovely black sweater on and Mary's braiding her hair so that it'll be beautiful for the COVID drive-through because. And just beautiful for herself. Beautiful for herself, but she there's no reason, there's no reason to not, you know, be looking lovely when you go for the swab test or the gargle test as it is. So hopefully no stick up the nose, just a gargle and a spit. So let's see. Um, other things. We'll see if Catherine maybe will we'll find out the results to say because if let's have a review. Uh, we can have a we can have a COVID party reveal party tonight. later on tonight when I'll we make get, a cake. <laughs> Mary will make a cake. She's got all the goods for um, a vegan coconut based case cake in Ooh, celebration free. of um, Alex's birthday, and then we'll do. She'll try some other cake for artists. So we anticipate lots of cake testing as well as COVID testing this week. And um, there you go. So there's the update for right now. We'll make it a short one, short, snappy and sweet. And um, stay tuned for the, for the COVID reveal party.